This chapter is about how to write the moving head beam slide library on my controller. First, we need to get the channel table for the beam light. Where can we get the channel table? Usually, the channel table is on the product user manual. Start by clicking the library editor in the bottom right corner of the screen. Click new at the top right. Then you can see for different options, info, module, DMX, instance, the first is info option. We need to fill in three things, library name, mode, manufacturer. Type and beam are not required to fill in. Both instances and channels are generated automatically. So we just need to fill in three things, library name, mode, manufacturer. Library name can be based on the name of the actual lighting fixture. For example, I'm going to write 350 beams. I will just fill in 350, click OK. Mode. We usually fill it in the channel number. Let's say we're going to write 16 channels. So I put in the number 16, click enter to confirm. The manufacturer can write according to the actual situation of the light. If you don't know the manufacturer, you can just fill anything in as you want. After the above three items are written, we come to the second option, module. On this page, it says how many channels the fixture has and the attributes of each channel. The name, default value, and locate value of each attribute need to be set on this page. For example, my light has 16 channels. So I will just go to the bottom left and select that. Add 16 channels directly. After adding 16 channels, the channel value appears on this page. I need to give each channel attribute name. Select the first attribute. Click the setup attribute in the middle below a screen. It will have a simple attribute name here. Common channel attributes are arranged here. We can fill them out one by one according to the channel table. The first channel in my channel table is the color wheel. The color wheel belongs to the color class. For the color class, just select the color. When we select it, it automatically jumps down to the next line. The second channel is shutter. We can find the shutter option in the dimmer class. The third channel is dimming. Dimming also belongs to the dimmer class. The fourth channel is the global. Global belongs to the global class. The fifth channel is prism 1. Prisms belong to the beam class. The sixth channel is prism 1 rotation. The seventh channel is prism 2. Here you can directly customize the attribute sequence number. It's the number under the pound sign. For example, there's hash next to the attribute. Hash sign represents the number below. For example, if I click on plus, it becomes 2. Click on the prism again, and it becomes prism 2. Click again prism rotation, become prism rotation 2. The ninth channel is focusing. Focusing belongs to the focus class. The tenth channel is the x-axis. The x-axis is position dependent, finding the x-axis directly in the position class. There are also x-axis fine-tuning per well axis fine-tuning. All the fine-tuning channels will be left empty for now. Channel 12 is the y-axis, vertical. Click vertical. The 13th channel is a y-axis fine-tuning, so leave it empty now. Channel 14 is a macro function dot MAC ROS belong to the control class. Channel 15 is first. First belongs to the beam class, behind the rotation of the prism. Channel 16 is for lamp control and reset, also in the control class. If these shortcut attributes do not have the attributes we want, then we can click switch to advanced attributes. It is divided into three categories. The first category is preset. The second category features. The third category is attributes. There will be a few more attributes here. More information about attributes can be found on this page. If the attributes, we can find it either in the simple attributes page or in the advanced attributes page. Take for example the 14th channel macro. 
First, we find the macro in the control class and click on the dot then long process name macro. Then we can change the name we want to display and then click enter. After setting all the attributes name, click set up attributes in the lower left corner of the screen again. There is a find in the main channel column of the screen. And we can write the horizontal and vertical fine tuning channels just like that. Next, we start filling in the values for the fine tuning channels. The x axis, the horizontal fine tuning channel is 11. Select the x axis fine tuning channel. Click set in the lower right corner of the screen. Fill in the number 11 and click OK. Then delete channel 11, which was left empty. Select the y axis fine tuning channel. Fill in the number 13 and click OK. Then delete channel 13 which was left empty. Next, fill in the default and look at values. For example, moving head beam light. When the shutter value is 255, is open. Then I set the local value for shutter and dimmer to the maximum to 55. Click OK. Change the default value of shutter to 55. Change it to this 255 and then slide it down. What are some other things that need to be changed? If you focus like this, the local value of focus has been changed to 128. And then we go down the x, y axis, horizontal and vertical. There's a minimum display and a maximum display from value per to value. The x axis horizontal is generally swing between 0 and 540 degrees. Click set and change from value to minus 270. This position is to switch positive and negative plus. If you click the minus sign here is not effective, click OK. And change the value to 270. Don't change the value of DM, X. Because the DM X number is fixed. Without fine tuning, DM X is a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 255. With fine tuning, DM X is a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 65535. Y axis vertical is usually 0 to 270 degrees. Click set and change from value to minus 135. Click OK. And change the value to 135. Click OK. Next, fill in the value of the quick switch arm. A lamp. How do we fill it in? According to the channel table, these values are in channel 16. After we select the channel 16, click on this added attribute in the lower right. Select the part of the name on the left and then the plus sign on the right plus. Be sure to click on the name on the left first. Otherwise, click the plus sign is on the right useless plus. The next step is to enter a name. Let's say my first toolkit command is open lamp. Just click on the name and type open lamp. The DMX value is filled in according to the channel table. The open lamp value is 100 to 199. So the minimum is 100. The maximum is 199. The second is for turn off the lamp. The value range is 0 to 99. The minimum value is not changed. And the maximum value is changed to 99. The third is for reset. Let's set a minimum and maximum value to 255. And then, when it's all set up, after all the attributes are set, we can check again with the channel table. Then click directly on the top right corner of the screen to say, click again on the open icon in the top right corner of the screen. We can see the current light library that has been written and the number of channels in the library.